What's going on gearheads? Welcome back to Saltwater Gear Reviews. On this channel, we go over anything saltwater related, reels, line, rods, lures, all that kind of jazz. That's what we go over on this channel right here. You might recognize this from our second channel, Coastal Worldwide. That's where we do all of our offshore content, our shark content, our inshore content, our freshwater content, kind of all of the above channel there. So if you're interested in that, go check that out on our other channel. That's Coastal Worldwide. But this channel, like I said, strictly saltwater gear reviews. In today's episode, we're gonna dive into the Avit EX30 Narrow two speed. This reel's great. I love it so much. But I'm gonna dive right into the spec sheet here. I'm not a huge spec sheet guy, so I've got a little I've got a little cheat sheet right here looking at it right here. Um, when I'm looking at a reel, I don't pay too too much attention to the entire spec sheet. I just kind of take things that I need to know and then go for it. But in these videos, we're gonna go into depth about the entire spec sheet. But the line retrieve and high gear, 37 inches. In low gear, you get 19 inches. The gear ratio in high, 3.8 to one. Gear ratio in low, that's a 2.0 to one. Line capacity, 560 yards of 100 pound Jerry Brown braid and 750 yards of 80 pound Jerry Brown braid as well. Your max drag, you're looking at 35 pounds at strike, 40 at full while remaining full free spool. Your weight, 47 ounces. Definitely not a, not a light setup by any means. This is a heavy duty reel for sure. Your retail, you're looking at right, right around $500. It's $595, $99, something like that. But I'm gonna dive right into my opinion of the reel, the applications that you could use it for and what you might not use it for. So if you're looking for an inshore reel, definitely not the way to go. You're gonna destroy any sort of redfish or black drum or anything like that. But as soon as you step off into the near shore game, you know, your snapper, it might be a little overkill for your snapper, but your amberjack, definitely the ability to lay all the beans to that those big amberjack that sometimes come into those near shore wrecks, your gag grouper, all that kind of stuff. But where this thing really shines, the bread and, bread and butter of this reel is offshore pelagic fishing. That's our application for it. Your wahoo, your white marlin, your sailfish, your tuna, and maybe even your, your smaller class, you know, 200 pound blue marlins, kind of that kind of deal. So trolling, great reel. We troll for wahoo with it. We trolled for white marlin with it. We've trolled for sailfish with it. Has no problem, caught tons of fish trolling, your mahi, bit overkill for the mahi to be honest with you you can definitely use a 15 size reel or something like that for mahi or sailfish for that matter but if you want an all-around offshore pelagic reel this is the way to go this is why i bought the reel we took chunk yellowfin tuna chunk with it we live bait for tuna all that kind of stuff i have zero worries when this reel gets hooked up to a big yellowfin that I'm never worried about. Is this reel capable? Is it gonna burn up? Is it gonna do something crazy to where I might not land this fish? Great example. First episode on Coastal Worldwide, Chris Gomez was hooked up to a big yellowfin tuna, 100, 120, 130 pound class fish on this setup. Never once worried about this reel breaking or anything like that. And you know, 37 high speed in, in your high gear, that tuna charged right up towards the surface and he was just cranking and cranking and cranking and caught up to it really quickly. And then as soon as it started pinwheeling, threw him into the low gear and he was just torquing that fish up all the way up to the boat and for that gaff shot. But I have this braid, I, sorry. I have this reel lined with 500 meters of 50 pound braid underneath and then about a 250 yard top shot of braid, that's 65 pound braid, you know, you're fishing that tuna for a, a little light drag until you get them up and maybe you see how big he is and you don't, you don't want to lose them. And so you, you want to put a little more heat to that fish. You got it with the 65. I personally have never been worried about being spooled with this reel or anything like that. The way I have it lined, I think is perfect. Um, and then I'll, I'll throw a top shot of mono on there. Anything from 60 pound mono to 80 pound mono, I usually tip in that, stick to that 60 pound range there. But overall, reel's great. It's, uh, I think Avid uses a aircraft aluminum one piece reel. So if you go to Avid's website, they've got a bunch of pictures on it. But the only thing that's not 
one piece about this is is the spool. Everything on this reel is manufactured with straight aircraft aluminum, super sturdy, super has great durability there. And one of my favorite things about this reel is the clicker. Hold that a little away from my mic here. I might be making you guys deaf, but super mean clicker on them. I love it so much. You know, you're, you're sitting there, you're, you maybe you're trolling a little bit. You got the, the RPMs of the motor in your ear. And when that reel goes off, you want a clicker, clicker loud enough to where you can hear which reel it is, where in the boat it is. And so as soon as you get hooked up, you're right to the reel. What rod that you might put on this reel? And now we've used a bunch of rods, but I think this rod right here is my favorite that we've put on it so far. It's an Akuma Makaira 40 to 100 pound braid line, line, uh, line class on there. It's got a really nice parabolic bend, really nice tip action there, but has so much butt in the butt end of this rod. And it's even got that really long Eva foam grip to where, you know, you're pinned to the gunnel on this fish and you, you're putting heat to them and you can use it as a rail rod of sorts. One of my favorite rods that we've paired the, paired this rod with, so paired this reel with so far, all rollers never have to worry about friction resistance or anything like that. And another thing I'll touch on, on the reel again, is the gear ratio that Avit, gosh darn it, I wish you just stay there. All right, one of my favorite parts about this reel as well is the gear ratio mixed with the handle length of the Avits on all of the models. We've used the majority of Avits models and how long the handle arm is paired with the gear ratio is one of our favorites that we've ever put our hands on. I think that's one of the main reasons that we use Avits is the gear ratio paired with the handle arm. You've got so, it's you, so easy to put so much torque on a fish with that handle arm. You know, you get your Makairas and your stuff like that. And they've got they've got really short handle arms compared to the, the size of that reel. And so sometimes it's really hard to crank into that fish. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please like, please subscribe, drop a comment below. We're always open to gear requests as well. So drop drop a request in the comments and we'll get we'll try our best to get that reel in our hands or the lure or the rod, whatever it is, we'll try our best to get that in our hands and give you all a solid review on it every time. Thank you guys so much again, and we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, look at the fly fish, look at him jump. Yeah. Hit that one you think's gonna work. It's a real fish, Blaine. Yes it is. Yes, it is. It's a real fish. Come on, dude. You can rest your whole life. Get this fish it's up. It's a whole real live fish. That line lay's looking good. When the leader comes up, don't we got to get it in the middle with that one? Yeah. Good. Oh, what happened? Yeah, he's Let just. Go? No, he's there. Real. Real. Real fast. Get back in with him. Ah. He's coming under the boat. Under the boat, big time. Watch that rod tip. You can sit right there and gain when you can. As he comes back. Well, we go under the boat. No, he's gonna he's gonna come out and around. As he comes out and around again. Alright, now so game. Just watch that rod tip. Fish. I know it's agonizing, man. I know. We'll be patient here, we'll be patient here.